everybody welcome to the next episode of checked out podcast this episode it's definitely scuff this is more of a 0.5 episode because half of the people couldn't make it right so <laughs> consider this like the 6.5 episode but today we got me lars and ryan and we're just gonna be doing i guess a mini cast type of thing here doing this on christmas day you know getting a little festive they both got christmas sweaters and i don't got shit <laughs> You got that so Christmas wait, you got bag. bag. You got the, the bag, bag in the bag. Oh, yeah, no. I got the Christmas bag in the bag, actually. But don't ignore the really dirty room that I did not. <laughs> I should. You really clean up for this occasion, Ron. Yeah, you really. Okay. <laughs> you know what's funny, right? Let me show you dedication. I actually put my bed sheet. Oh, fuck. I put my bed sheet to the side. <laughs> Because I didn't want to put like the bed actual sheet on top of the bed sheet. Wait, so, did you do that for the podcast, or did you just you just do that? No, like I just for, I've been too lazy to put the actual like bed sheet back on the bed. Like, what the fuck? It's just, my bed sheet's just here. Hey, you know, you know. To be fair, Ron. To be I've fair. To be fair, I don't even sleep with my under my comforter. You I just have a blanket back there, and I use the blanket, and I don't because I don't want to make my bed every morning. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, straighten out the com- I straighten out the comforter, and then I use the blanket. I fold up the blanket, and it's good to go. Just That's don't base. make your That's bed true. every morning. I, I, but it looks nice. I, I don't like, I don't like living in a, I don't like living in a Ron type room. Okay. Wait, what's that supposed to be? <laughs> Look at you. What do you mean? What's it supposed to be? Look at your fucking it's background. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you a, a sneak peek of something. Ready? Oh no! <laughs> That's a pile of Jesus Christ! Good Christ. lord! Uh, Good lord! To audio listeners, <laughs> it is a very clean room. Oh uh, no! It's a fucking. <laughs> just, I, it's I don't even know what you expect. Just... <laughs> it's what you expect. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly what you would expect. Like I get lazy, man. But you know what they say, right? You know, dirty room means smarter mind. Who the fuck has ever said that? <laughs> no, <it's> a... <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, who who are you quoting there, Ron? Well, like I just I've heard it on the grapevine, you know, like on the grapevine, nice. the blockchain. Yeah. Okay. Well, not the blockchain. I know that all. <laughs> We're not stickling into this. We are not. <laughs> you know, I'm a ma- I'm an expert at the blockchain. I know everything about it. Oh no, I feel like imagine you just go on a date. And the person just starts talking about the blockchain and NFTs. I don't know. I feel like I would just walk away. Have you seen those videos or like where they're like, um, red flag alert, you know, or they're like, red flag <laughs> yeah, emoji. That's a red flag emoji right there. <laughs> oh, man. That would be pretty fucking terrible. I can't lie. Like Some how, red how flags are just like it? basic things, though, I feel like. Yeah. You know, people make posts like red flag alert. Brushing your teeth in the morning and at night. <laughs> Shit like that. Yeah. Anyway, I said I had some topics for today. I'll bring up the first topic here. Um, terrible segue, but anyway. <laughs> did anybody, yeah. anybody anybody, here shop during Black Friday? Did anyone buy anything during Black Friday? No. Mm, I tried to. I mean, here's my take. I feel like Black Fridays aren't as good as they used to be. Right? Like, I they're feel like better. the discounts used to be, like, super high, right? But now they're just, like, only 30%, like, 40% off. But, like, back okay, in the Ron, day... Okay, Ron. It's still <laughs> pretty fucking high. No, I mean, like, they used to be, like, fucking, oh, my God, it's, like, 80% off. The fucking- I've never <laughs> seen an 80% off of Black Friday. <laughs> All my 20 years of living, no. Well, <laughs> you weren't old enough, Lars, okay? Me, a... Uh... Wait, who's the oldest one here? Oh, yeah. Here? Uh, you both are in March, right? Or Ryan, are you? Ryan's in February. I'm in February. February. Yeah, I'm March. Ah, oh, fuck. Ryan's the oldest. I am? Yeah. <laughs> no, Craig's the, the oldest. Craig's the oldest. Yeah, Craig's the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Craig. Yeah, Craig. Anyway, anyway, why I brought this up is because uh, I, I got a few things. Of Black- I did a lot of Black Friday shopping, Ooh. mainly for Christmas presents, but I also got... This here microphone right here, because Ron had been complaining about my audio while he was editing the podcast. True. For a long time. So I got this microphone, right? And it came with 
this whole ass stand. You know, I'll pick it up. It might it might sound like shit when I pick it up, but so you can Ooh. see it. Yeah. The whole ass stand. It comes with the shock mount. It's actually a real shock mount. Um, here it lights up too. See, you see it's blue, so you know it's recording. And then I press the button. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit! Look at that. That's that's, that's actually a really nice feature though. Having it right on the top. So I don't have to like do anything on the computer to mute it. And it also came, I can't show you the case because I have the laptop I'm recording on sitting on top of it. <laughs> but it came in like a like a plastic sort of like, um, like you know, what like camera lenses would come in. Mm-hmm. Kind of like one of those type of plastic cases. Pretty, pretty heavy duty case, right? And it came with a pop filter. It came with one of those like, um, one of the windscreen ones. I don't know what you exactly what you call them, but they kind of like come around front. And it's mm-hmm. like a disc. Came with yeah. all that stuff, yeah. right? And just take a take a guess how much it, it how much it cost me. Um, fifty bucks. Thirty bucks. All right. I will. Ron was close with the original price. I got the, the whole thing. Ten dollars. Damn. Ten dollars. Damn. Yes, ten fucking oh, dollars, dude. Shit. I guess eleven with like tax and stuff, but mm-hmm. fucking see, I won Black Friday with that one. <laughs> He conquered Black Friday. <laughs> I, I won. That's that's <laughs> single handedly the best Black Friday deal I've ever had in my I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, ten dollars for this whole ass package. But uh, I think I've been Black Friday shopping forever though. Oh, I just went on Amazon. I did not go out. Oh, I thought you <laughs> went physically out this whole time. No, that was be fucking terrible, dude. Just went on Amazon. See, you don't even need to go out. I got this thing for ten dollars. And I went, <laughs> it's just on Amazon. They're going out, going out during Black Friday, that was the worst. It's absolutely terrible. <laughs> no, it is. I, it's really bad. You yeah. also have to wake up hella early for it because mm-hmm. if you don't, then everything is going. Have you guys yeah. like ever uh, had to camp out in front of a store for something you wanted? No, fuck no. I remember one time I had camped outside a GameStop for like a new Pokemon game that was coming out when I was Pokemon a Pokemon game? Yeah, when I was a kid, I remember like maybe it was like middle school. It was when Pokemon Black and White came out. Ooh, that's actually <laughs> worth it. Yeah, I camped out the store. I was like, I need this game. What if it sells out instantly? <laughs> you know? Sells out? Wait, you didn't pre-order it? No, I was too late, so I oh. only stood in front of the store and waited. And well, I remember. I think order. maybe. No, I don't think we ever did it. Me and my dad were going to camp out in, a, in front of a GameStop for Halo Reach, I think. Mm-hmm. But we never did that. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Yeah, I, well, I mean, not anymore, but I think back then I definitely would have done something like that. Yeah. It just, uh... It seems like it would have been cool, but now it just, like... Now looking at it, it's just a bunch of, like, sweaty fucking nerds in the line for, <laughs> for a video game. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's see those up. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna like fucking download it at home. I don't want to go <laughs> and do that anymore. Uh, oh man, I never felt more like a gamer until I went to like a convention one time because I was like super down bad for a girl, right? <laughs> As you do. So, yeah. So she was like, "Do you want to come to this convention with me?" Right? It was like Comic Con or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, "Okay, sure," you know. I've never been to convention in my life. <laughs> Dude, I can't fucking... I don't have anything to dress up. I don't think I had, like, one Marvel thing or any, like, comic book thing. <laughs> I think I just wore, like, a hoodie and it said I was, like, the guy in the background on the Marvel movie. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. well, at that point, why don't you just, like, not dress up as anything? Well, why don't I you mean, just, like... Why don't you just go? Like to dress had, up. Like, it's not a requirement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just everybody I was with was dressed up, right? So I was just like, dude, I got to find something, right? But I didn't want to buy a costume, and I didn't have any shit. So I literally just went as the background character, right? You okay, didn't know I as the background you. character. Yeah, <laughs> I guarantee Let's just clarify you. that. You just, you probably saw it, and you're like, yeah, this will do. And <laughs> you're like, you didn't dress uh, up as that guy. Man. It was wild. Well, yeah, there's no way you like watch a Marvel movie and you're like, like you knew that there that person was there. 
That's the one. You legit just saw the hoodie hanging up on your wall. You're like, yeah, that'll that could that I could I could get away with this maybe. <laughs> and I did get away with it. Everybody was like, oh my god, I, I I've seen you in that movie. I was like, yeah. For sure. I remember you. You're like my favorite. But I remember I walking picture? around there, and it's just like I felt so out of place because all these people are like super into comics, like dressed up for the occasion. I'm That's just true. a motherfucker, dude. Yeah, everyone there, they're like they're all nerded out, like. I'm I'm for it, but like I'm not I'm not at that their at their level, you know, whole nother level. So is Comic Con like is it is it I've never been or seen anything about it. Is it like main? Is it like actually just for comics or is it just like nerd nerdy stuff in general? I guess the like the stuff. celebration of okay, nerdy like stuff. Okay, like anything. Okay. Yeah. I've never been to I've never been to like a convention or anything. So yeah. it's honestly I didn't really like it to be honest. Ron, remember when we bought the tickets for Comic-Con before COVID started and then we all Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot because about that. Comic-Con was like in March uh in 2019, I think. And we all bought tickets for it and then COVID started like two or a week or two before the convention. So we all had to I kind of remember that. Stuff. I feel like that's so far back though. But yeah, it was pretty much like two years ago now. All I remember yeah. from that convention is we stole a bunch of lanyards and then we made a giant like chain of lanyards mm-hmm. and like went off like one of the porches mm-hmm. and like just threw it off the like the balcony or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then just gave it to all the people that were waiting outside. And that's all I fucking remember from that Comic Con. I remember hearing a story about that. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, being down bad for a girl gets you places in the weird situations, you know? Let's go. Damn. Oh. <laughs> no How's your day going today, huh? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. By the way, we were going to do like a, we were going to do a gingerbread house type of thing, right? But yeah. then things didn't work out. Nathan's busy going to like see his family okay, but to be fair min and david are not here either and i don't think they're as busy okay those as guys me. are just being dead ass today yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so now we got the 0.5 episode just if anyone cool. wanted the lore yeah. behind that very easily be our worst <laughs> episode but uh Worst episode. We'll make it our best point five episode though. <laughs> yeah. Mean, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm okay come. with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. The only fucking point. I still five got episode. two topics to go as well. So oh, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna have to use one right now because we have nothing <laughs> else to talk about. <laughs> you had I had something to talk. All right, all right, Ron. All right, Ron. No, no, no. I, I was bullshitting. I was bullshitting. I was gonna just say some shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> fucking Christ. Okay, I'll pull one out. I'll pull one out. Let me okay, let's the, wipe it let out. Let me get the document out. All right, I'll say. I'll say this one. This is one. Um. Uh, from the request of one of our biggest fans that you both know very well, oh, he wanted me to tell this on the podcast. Um, all right. So anyway, it, it was it was a it was it was a story about how I how I like scared my mom when I was way younger, and I was, it was probably like it was I might have been like six or something like that, five. I have I have no clue, right? But um, mm-hmm. I remember I was younger and I had I had a nightmare about something. Um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was just like a couple of, like these monsters were chasing me, right? Mm-hmm. So then. Um, I wake up from this nightmare, right? And then, you know, when you're younger, you'll, you know, you get scared. You go to, you go to, you go cry to your mommy, right? So that's what I did. I went to my mom's room because I was scared and I, and I, uh, walked into her bed and, um, I, let me, I gotta, I gotta remember exactly what I said. It was, I, I, I forget exactly what I said to my mom, but, um, I think I asked her if I could sleep with her for the night or something she's like why is that and i was like <laughs> i was like yeah i was like why is that and she's uh, i said because they're coming then she asked who's coming and i said them and i pointed <laughs> at the foot of the bed <laughs> because in my mind in my creative ch- like child mind um mm-hmm. there was like actually these two little like monsters chasing me to my mom's bedroom right <laughs> But to my mom, there's fucking nothing at the foot of the bed, right? 
Yeah. So I just go. So I just point at the foot of the bed. And go them. And she's just. I, I, I was. We were just imagining how how terrifying that would be. Like imagine if like you had a kid and they did that to you. Mm-hmm. Like you know in the movies and stuff, it's always the kids. It's always the kids who find like who see the ghosts and stuff, right? But the funniest part about the story was, in my mind, the monsters that were chasing me mm-hmm. looked like the Mucinex like guy. You know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Straight up yeah. look like the like like super yeah. shitty cartoonish characters, like the the least intimidating things ever. So in my mind, that was was chasing me. But imagine my mom like, coming, they're coming. <laughs> Who's coming? Them. And the Mucinex guy at the end of the bed. <laughs> uh, that's the story. That Damn. reminds me of a story of when I was like, this was probably a lot later than it should have been. Or like, yeah, a lot later in my childhood. But this was like sixth grade or seventh grade. And I was on Vine, right? Classic Ooh. Vine. Classic. And I was like, whatever the discovery page was or something. I was scrolling through the comments on a, a Vine, and it was like, "You gotta, you gotta send this comment to six other Vines, or else <laughs> she's coming at midnight or something." And then I remember I deliberately didn't do it. I'm like, "Yeah, right." And then midnight hit. I'm like, "Oh God, oh fuck!" <laughs> and then I went to my mom's room. I'm like, I'm "Like." Am I gonna die? Like, is she coming? <laughs> at, is she, is she here already? And then my mom's just like, "Go to bed." Like it's midnight. <laughs> and I it's remember coming. I couldn't sleep that night because, like, I was scared of it or, or her or whatever. <laughs> and this was like seventh uh, grade. Now that I'm thinking about it, like I was old. I should have known better. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking embarrassing. This is common, man. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. What are you, Ron? Did that happen to you? Uh, usually, well, like even like recently, when I dream, I usually like what's it called? I usually dream about like what happened literally in the day. Like I remember when I worked at Funko. I just dreamt about like running away from like cardboard boxes you know <laughs> and then they would never stop where i literally sometimes i like dreamt i was literally working right and then we were just grinding out these trucks i was super stressed we got it done and i wake up just to go to work again it's like it fucking terrible sucks. it actually sucks jesus that suck that you day. work in your dreams and you wake up and work in real life <laughs> I, <know. laughs> it suck. I was like did i get the work- trucks done and then i wake up and i'm like fuck wait i have work in an hour <laughs> and it sucks too because when i worked at funko i actually worked at like 4 a.m you know oh, so the worst time to wake up and <laughs> that's why because of that i had like no like good sleep time because i uh worked four to four got back did like a little bit and then just went straight to sleep you know mm-hmm. just that type of grind but that'd be terrible that suck yeah my dreams just were made up of just cardboard or just work just things like that, you know. So, you didn't have like any I... like wacky weird dreams. You don't have those. Oh, I get crazy fucking dreams though. <laughs> like, oh, the other we talked day... about it yesterday, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were gaming yesterday. We were talking about this, but you know, I think the other day I was dreaming about like an old person sitcom or something, and I thought I was a part of it. You know, in the dream we were like stealing stuff from like the barber shop or something. You know, the Seven Eleven, and we met up at like that corner, and we was like, "Yo, bro, what'd you get? Oh my god, you got the Takis, right?" And we're like, "Oh my god," Christ. you know. And then I woke up and I was like, "Holy fuck, that was such a great show!" You know, that's gotta be a real sitcom, right? And I go straight on my phone, look it up old man sitcom <laughs> nothing fucking pops up i'm like yo wait sitcom no, that's not, there would definitely be something that popped up though no something popped up it was just not what i was thinking because the spot wasn't there you know the spot where we just met up you know, <laughs> no, I know that so you expected like the, you expected like the exact spot to show up yeah, I thought it would just if I go to images, it would just show up. You know? <laughs> and then I like slowly and slowly you regain your consciousness. Like, oh fuck, wait, I was dreaming. 
you know yeah that's happened to me like i was i was having a dream and i forgot what the item was or whatever it was but it was something and i remember i was really fascinated with it and then i woke up and i literally typed in my phone like i forget it began with a b but it was literally like mumbo jumbo and it it sounded along the lines of baba buoy pretty much <laughs> and <laughs> i no i just fuck. like googled it and i'm like and nothing came up it like two results came up like it, it it's impressive to search something on google and to get like two results or something like it has to be some straight up gibberish right and it was it was kind of freaky because when you wake up you're like wait this isn't a thing you know like this doesn't <laughs> fucking exist <laughs> Yeah, just I remember. I remember having stuff like that when I was younger. I remember, um, where I had a dream, where I had like the new DS. It was like the DSi at the time that came out. Mm -hmm. I had a dream, and then I woke up and went looking for it. And then I just, and then I sat down after like five minutes looking for it. I realized, oh, fuck, I don't actually have that. So that was a fucking dream. <laughs> I was yeah. just scammed by my own mind. Uh. damn it's just like i don't know i like having like i know some people just don't dream i honestly i feel like that kind of sucks right you go to bed and it's like you teleported to the next day yeah. you know yeah, I well i mean there's like nights where you don't have dreams and but like the nights where you do have dreams are significantly better i feel like don't they mm, say yeah, like, they feel better like well rested more mm -hmm, true isn't it like uh, if you have dreams, you have like a creative mind or something like that? I don't think that necessarily, thing? but I I think it has to do with like your deep sleep, mainly. My deep sleep. Because whenever I take melatonin, I always dream when I take it. But like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever taken melatonin. You should try it because I, I I guarantee you'll probably have a dream. I would not. I uh I know this girl who just has like ten melatonins a day right yeah that's to a, a point where it just like doesn't even, stupid it doesn't even affect her anymore and i'm like what the f like a mad that's got to be unhealthy right yeah yeah, no <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like how the fuck <laughs> it's just like imagine she like just likes the taste of the melatonin so that's why she like eats it all the time that's but, the like, stupidest reason i've heard to eat 10 melatonin <laughs> she's like it's what, just what better than the, the other taste gummies. of melatonin like why can't you just eat gummy bears or some shit no, they're like the gummy melatonin. I know. Yeah, but like but melatonin like, doesn't taste like strawberries. Like yeah, it's, the it's, fucking, it's the gummy. That makes it taste like that. Just, yeah, just get gummy bears. Go to Winco and like, grab some gummy. Oh my god. He'd just be macking on it, right? And then whenever I asked her to hang out, she's like, Oh, I'm tired. I gotta go to sleep. I'm like, why the I wonder I why. wonder. <laughs> I wonder why, bitch. She's like, like I would want to hang out, but I also just had five melatonins. So I was like, fuck. You know? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I don't have I don't have that good of uh, experience with melatonin. I mean, like like I think Lars is completely right. You do have more dreams when you take melatonin. But mm -hmm. if I take melatonin and then anything wakes me up, I can't go back to sleep for like another like four hours. Mm -hmm. So like it's it's good because if if I like if I have like a fucked up sleep schedule and I need to get up early in the morning. And I can't fall asleep until like three or something. And yeah. I take one of those and I'm I'm awake at nine and I can't go back to sleep. I'm just up. So it's good for that. But if I if 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 I take it for any other reason, it's just like it fucks you up even worse than you already are. <laughs> like yeah. Damn. Uh, <clears throat> so whenever I take melatonin, it honestly never works. I just kinda do it out of placebo sometimes. Just to like I think it would help, but it doesn't yeah. usually, I think. But <clears throat> I don't know, there are some days where I literally have nothing to do the next day, so I take the melatonin just so I can, like, dream throughout the night. <laughs> but <laughs> it, yeah, you're not even supposed to take it regularly. Like, taking 10 a day regularly is so yeah, no. fucking unhealthy. You're yeah, only I don't know how it. she's like, alive. You're supposed to it's, take it. It's like a last-ditch effort sort of thing. But yeah, then also, it like, it, it can't be that unhealthy because she's also a bodybuilder, right? Ron... So it's kind of crazy. That's that that's can, do yeah, that's that's like, those are two separate variables. I don't know. Like, like maybe it helps muscle strength. 
No. What no. The fuck? That's the dumb <laughs> shit. Creatine helps with mus- like like your whatever bodybuilding, not melatonin. Uh, I remember I used to do some shit like that, where it's just like I remember. Okay, it's not melatonin, but I used to have apple cider vinegar shots like every day. Yeah, but right? that's like healthy. No, but like uh, they were like big ass shots. So I pretty much I went into my living room. I uh, put red LED lights on. And then I turned on through the fire and the flames, and then I chugged it every night. You know, I did that for like probably, I'd say like three months or something like that, three months straight. Fucking psychopath. That's not that Fucking weird. Psycho. <laughs> but yeah. I was that's backing that. you up until you said you did that shit. Yeah, he's like, yeah, no, that's actually pretty healthy. What the fuck? Yeah. Look, it just helps you get the shots down, you know. It's like da 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 da, da and then no. you chug it down, you know. Right, you know what I'm imagining? I'm imagining Adrian getting home from a long day of work, and he just walks into the <laughs> living room, and Ron's, Ron's just doing his shit, drinking. Apple cider vinegar and Adrian. Oh just... God! No, he's no wonder Adrian crazy. immediately goes to his room when he's done working. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with your shit. <laughs> no, I mean like he's definitely like what's called... I did it in front of him like a bunch of times too, and then he's like, I don't know, he just watches. Me. Yeah, yeah what the like what's wrong with you? What's he supposed to do? Just <laughs> cheer you on? Like, yeah. Who am I fucking living with? What the fuck is yeah. this? But yeah, I did that for like probably like three months until like it started like corroding my teeth so i just stopped doing it entirely <laughs> right <laughs> corroding your teeth yeah but how much did you take at once probably like um if i took a water bottle it'd probably be like this much oh. around yeah. like here Seems straight up annoying. vinegar, like yeah, just straight up vinegar. Well, vinegar, but... dude, my 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 sister used to do that. Like she used to drink apple cider vinegar, but she, she would legit take the fucking entire bottle, open yeah. it up, and take swigs of it. She wouldn't take shots of it. She would drink like whole fucking bottles of that shit. And I don't think it was because she's like, oh, it's healthy. She's just like, oh, it tastes good. Dude, so no I'm going shot. To drink it. Dude, no, like, I mean, she's legit used to do that. I remember, I remember that. This is back. This is back probably when I was in like middle school or something. I remember she used to do that. Damn. And now like, she's a vegan, so. Oh, uh, maybe I'll become a vegan soon. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, no shot. But anyway, <laughs> like, is there like uh, a reason you were chugging it so much? Like, oh, like, I why mean, why were you drinking it? It was just like I don't know. You get into that phase where you're like, oh man, I feel fat, and then you read online at one like source that, oh my god. You can lose weight by drinking apple cider vinegar. And I was like, I bet, you know, that's not even like the real reason for taking it, isn't it? I thought it was just like for like, well, there's also like, like other health. health ben- I thought yeah, it was there's... like cleansing, like a cleansing. It's thing. like losing weight and like health benefits and shit like that. I don't think it makes you lose but, weight. I don't be 100%. I, don't no, I, I figured that out later that that's not true. But like, this well, is once like... your teeth start corroding and you're like, okay. you know, let me, let me, ch- let me check in one more time. See yeah, maybe it helps you lose out. weight in teeth corrosion. But yeah, no, that shit tastes <laughs> awful. The reason I had to do all that extreme shit was just because like it tasted so bad. I'd rather just drink straight vodka than fucking drink apple cider vinegar. It tastes horrible but i know people like mix it with like alcohol but i don't know if that's worse or not that sounds awful it sounds well if it's already like if usually people mix things that taste good with alcohol yeah, because alcohol that's... tastes like shit you're mixing and, two and... Shit things together <laughs> yeah it's like it cancels how, uh... each other out this <laughs> turn it just tastes like vanilla ice cream afterwards it's... Negative one plus <laughs> negative one equals negative two. No, it's like how, you know, people like mix like pickle juice with like alcohol. So like, uh, no, it's because like, it's you nasty. Only... Like awful stuff. No, no, no. That it's sucks. You, all, you only taste the pickle juice and you don't taste any of the alcohol. Like, if you why wouldn't you do it with something else so yeah, strong? Why not something, why not something that tastes good? Not fucking pickle juice. Well, I'm just saying that you wouldn't taste any of the alcohol. You would only taste the pickle juice. When you use like pickle juice as a mixer, right? that doesn't that doesn't so, make a difference. If you like pickle juice, then it's the best mixer out there. But if you don't like pickle juice, then it's not that good, you know. But it is like the tech technology. 
No, that makes no fucking sense. <laughs> what? There's no fucking Dude, sense. That's definitely use orange thing. juice. You can use anything else for the fucking pickle juice. <laughs> something that's yeah, meant something to else taste that good. tastes good. That's like strong. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to cancel it out with something that tastes good? Because regardless of what you taste, it still tastes like shit. Yeah. So what, why does it matter? Why don't you just drink the fucking alcohol straight up at that point? Honestly, well, if you enjoyed someone, pickle juice, it wouldn't taste bad, right? If someone prefers pickle juice over literally any other type of fucking juice, they're a psychopath and you probably shouldn't talk to them. <laughs> they should be considered dangerous. Yes. They should not be trusted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not that bad. I've tried it before. All you taste is pickle juice. Yeah, uh, but... Is the pickle juice good? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. no it's not good <laughs> oh man well you know actually actually now i think about it, my sister used to drink pickle juice as well and now she's vegan like and now she's lovers. a fucking weird ass <laughs> vegan so <laughs> damn <laughs> <laughs> i could not be vegan honestly no shot too many things i enjoy just have stuff i like mm-hmm. For... i was actually speaking of my sister being vegan once again um I remember the first time she came, she came back from a trip. I think she was in Germany, I think. Mm-hmm. She was studying in Germany for like a year. And when she got back, uh, she said she was vegan. <laughs> and the first thing that we, we did when she got back is we went to like this restaurant somewhere down in like, I don't remember exactly where it was, Linwood or something maybe. But uh, yeah. um, uh, we we all ordered our food. And then it turned out it was also her birthday that day. Mm-hmm. And she had ordered a drink. So the, the waitress noticed that it was her birthday. So she came back to the table with a big-ass slice of cheesecake. He's like, happy birthday, but she was vegan, so she couldn't eat it. Oh, so shit. me, my mom, and my dad were just like, yeah, baby, free cake. <laughs> we were eating, we were just like, mm, this is so good, Brianna. Thanks for the cake. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, that was great. That was perfect. That would suck. I feel like being a vegan sucks. Here's my thing. Like, I went to Whole Foods, right? And that place is just, like, riddled with vegan stuff. But everything's so fucking expensive. Yeah. Right? Like, I feel like being a vegan, it takes so much money to be a vegan. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> I could buy fucking, like, meat hella cheap. I'm buying fucking potato pasta. That shit's so expensive. Yeah, no. Potato pasta? Yeah. Like, where I work, you can get, like... So I work at a pizza place, and you can get, like, a cauliflower crust for your pizza. But it's an additional two dollars over like the already like four dollar pizza, so it's like, yeah. like it doubles the price or adds like fifty percent to the total. It's kind of nuts. Damn, it's like Subway too. They have the gluten free bread. Yeah, it's an additional like uh, one or two bucks to use that bread, and I'm just like, <laughs> vegans got to struggle out here. <laughs> it's like, damn, that sucks. Couldn't be me though. Yeah, I would never be vegan. Yeah, I just couldn't. I got the willpower. I like my uh, burgers too much. The Ron Special Burger. The Ron Special? Look, it's got the secret sauce. It's got the jalapenos. It's got that cheddar cheese. A little bit of seasoning. Boom. What's the secret sauce? Pizza. Well, it's, it's a secret, man. This just sounds like, like a normal burger with no. jalapenos on it. And there's cheese, too. So it's a little yeah, crazy. Don't most burgers have cheese on them too? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> cheese I'm burgers? No, no, no. But like, like uh, listen, it's guys, got, it's it crazy. Got, okay. It has cheese on it. It's never been done before. <laughs> have you ever no, seen a burger with before. cheese? It's got cheese and eggs. Okay, cheese, egg, jalapeno, secret sauce, and burger. Is that well, you know, I bet you the secret mind. sauce is like mayo and ketchup mixed together. Yes. No, and that's what he calls the secret not. sauce. It is the Ron special secret sauce that no one will ever know because it's so secret. It's 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 mayo and ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's mayo and ketchup. Probably, he probably just buys like the Chick-fil-A sauce. And he's like, this is my secret sauce. No one okay, will ever know I, what it is. It was funny. I actually, uh, what's it called? I remember Adrian, like, uh, what's it called? I ran out of secret sauce one time and I didn't want to make it in front of Adrian. And <laughs> what? Fucking weirdo. So, so Did he's gonna sell it? No, and then he's just like, oh, I thought it was just Chick-fil-A sauce. And then I was like, fuck. It's not though, it's not, it's not. But like, 
You don't want to, so, so you re, you actually don't want people to know what your secret sauce is. Yeah, because it's a secret sauce, man. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's 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 definitely like four ingredients. You know how like some people gatekeep like fucking uh like certain uh restaurants because it's like their thing. You know, that's yeah. my sauce. All right, I, I'll gatekeep my sauce. Gaslight like gatekeep girl boss or a secret formula. Yeah. No one will ever take it. But anyway, it's banging. The worst part is, I know just one day you were literally like making a burger and you're like, you know what I should do? I should have my own secret sauce. <laughs> and then you made it. And you're the just Ron like, special. You're, you're just like, no one will ever know my secret sauce. And yeah, then... well, it's the, it's the secret sauce for a reason, man. <laughs> That's exactly That's what like... happened. Look at him. That's exactly yeah, what I happened. know. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I know Ron too well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that happened, but it doesn't change the fact that it's a secret sauce. Okay. Have you guys ever, like, um, like as a child, when you're, like, taking a bath or something, you, like, Put all the shampoos or soaps in like a thing, and then like mix it around. They like if... I don't think I've ever done that actually. Oh, okay, well I know some people. I might do have. That. I just know Ron did that with his secret sauce. He's just like okay, a no. little bit of this, a dash of that. <laughs> There's <laughs> some know? crazy things in that cool secret thing. sauce. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I bet the, the crazy stuff can fit on one hand. <laughs> it is probably five <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, <laughs> ketchup, mayo, <laughs> mustard. Salt and pepper. <laughs> I can't imagine what else it could be. Like, look, man. If you know, you know. All right. I, like, I don't know. I feel like he added one thing on there that's like just fucking crazy. It's tuna juice. It's tuna juice or some shit. <laughs> that would be. That would make so much sense. That, yeah, it's unsalted, that by the way, unsalted tuna juice. Yeah. Okay, but one tuna juice is even bad. That's why you keep some of it in the bowl. Oh, so that's literally why you you, you no, were dead no, on. You were dead no, on. no, 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 but that's when you're making tuna dishes, okay? This is the Ron Special Burger. It's different. So is it ketchup and t- tuna juice? Is that what it is? Well, okay, I'm not. I'm not disclosing this information. Is that okay? But we, we give us okay. If if tell you can you at least tell us is ketchup in there? No, there's no ketchup. There's no ketchup. What about mayo? Well, well, I'm not going to say the other ingredients. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's like, fucking mayo no, there's in there no, too. There's no mayo, mayo in there too. <laughs> Look, I don't want people cracking down on this information, all right? I might just have to, like, put it in, like, a scroll and put it into the ocean, and then maybe, like, someone could find it in the future. You know, it's like <laughs> one of those, like, mystery bottles with notes inside. Hey, man, this fucking shit sucks. Why would anyone want to make this shit? No, they'd be like, what does this say? And then they would interpret it in fucking like maybe India or something. And they would be like, oh my God, the secret recipe. And then I'm like, oh, you interpret it. It would be so But like they don't, they've never seen English before. (laughs) Okay. But like if they didn't know. (laughs) (laughs) It's not hieroglyphics, (laughs) Ron. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you know, I bet it is. I it, I he drew it out like him. He's like the squirting the mayonnaise in like a fucking bowl or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a diagram. He drew himself so on there, like putting all the ingredients in. He wrote it in binary just to make it that much harder to code. Uh, yeah, like, ancient civilization or future civilizations find this scroll and like, oh man, we gotta we gotta decipher this. We gotta find out what this written on there. Add Probably tuna juice only. to mayo and add a pinch of salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we'll find out. No, it's just gonna be a recipe I pass down through generations. You know? We were gonna be like the Ron sauce. You know? Hey, son, today I'm gonna teach you how to make the Ron special. Yeah, would that yeah, not this be tastes like it? shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what the kid would say. The kid would be like, "This is so good, Ron. Thanks for teaching you the Ron special." You know, uh, you guys he'd just call don't you understand. Ron too. He wouldn't say dad. He'd call you Ron. Why? Well, thank you, Ron. My father. Well, it's the Ron special. You know, you would only call him Ron at that specific moment because it's the Ron special. You guys just don't get it, you know? He's Uncultured. Just... <laughs> Uncultured. Uncultured, my ass. <laughs> Look, 
You guys are just dusty. You guys don't even have like he's talking about. Bro, I like, take a secret sauce right now if I wanted to. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> ever, never mind. You know, I, I, you guys just don't get the intricacy of what a secret sauce implies to a life. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Anyway, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm just, I'm just gonna talk about my last topic now. Oh yeah, because, we have uh, time. I get them. I'm supposed. To, I, I want to talk about this one, like uh, two episodes ago, but I never did. Or I guess it would have been one episode ago. Either way, um, I was gonna I was I was gonna talk about um. So you guys probably have like you guys probably watch something. You know, do you ever like watch something on your phone when you're trying to sleep? You know, like uh. Like, just just something that you're comfortable with that you watch if you're just like trying to you know get to sleep easier, right? Well, um, I remember a while ago I used to watch these things that um, they were. It started off with me watching these like plants versus zombies like challenge videos, right? Where somebody somebody would just they, they would like get sent in a challenge, right? And then uh, you know they would have to do it. In Plants vs. Zombies, it'd be no talking. It'd basically just be text in the gameplay, right? But uh, then that led to me finding these videos of, like, these these knockoff Chinese Lego sets of Plants vs. Zombies. And I, and I would watch those in order, to, in order to fall asleep. There's some just some random fucking guy building these, like, Lego sets. These no, no not Lego sets. Knockoff Chinese ones. They'd be, they'd be absolute dog shit, but... Uh, you know, it was no talking, no talking. It was just this dude. It was like it was. It was like you know, in the Lego Star Wars games, like speed build, like just throw the. It was basically like that, for like ten minutes, and that that's what I used to get to sleep for a while. <laughs> just like the fast forward, like I'm just like yeah, was like you just like you're just sped up building of these fake knockoff Chinese Lego sets. I'm that's what I used to uh, fall asleep. What's it called? You know those <laughs> commercials that used to air on like TV where it's just like, there's something broken down in Lego City. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Help repair it. Classic. And then they like build it really fast. Yeah. That's what I'm mad Well, it's not like the whole thing at once, but oh. essentially, yes. I, uh, I watch, uh, okay, it's a little bit morbid, right? I oh, watch fuck. like, uh, <laughs> It's car crash shit. compilations before i go to sleep sometimes <laughs> i don't believe you <laughs> i don't believe no you. like uh i either watch car crash compilations or like near-death experiences like videos are you serious on youtube but like i usually watch it with my roommate right so we just kind of sit there and I'm like you stupid fuck don't do it da! And okay. then they do it. I thought you yeah. meant like you like laid down in bed and like turned on like fucking car crashes and plane <laughs> crashes, and that's uh, what you no. used to fall asleep. I just I usually watch it at like night before like uh we just go to our own rooms. We usually just like watch okay. like car crash compilations, alligator scare videos. I watch a lot of shark compilations just because like my roommate's super scared of sharks, yeah. <laughs> so he's like. Meet me on land, but in the water, he's hella afraid. Right? So I just play shark compilation videos. Shark, like shark encounter compilations? Yeah, like near death shark <laughs> encounter videos. Of course, near death. Yeah. That's to be near death experiences. That really winds you down for night for at night, huh? <laughs> it does. Watching you know? people nearly die in a car crash. It gives you good dreams. <laughs> Mark, do you have anything like that? I do, but I've had like so many phases. I honestly like, I'm getting kind of overwhelmed. Like, trying to recall them all, I can't think of any. <laughs> but I do think Legos, like building Lego sets, was one of them. And I would just like, like listen to the guy like <laughs> just talking about this Lego set for like ten minutes, and I'm just like, like I'm interested for like the first minute, and then I'm just <laughs> I fall asleep. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I, 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 dude. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. Those like those like Lego cities that people make. Those are kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I love and those then, shits. And the guy like um, J.K. Brickworks. He's like actually like 
insane at Legos, and I just like sometimes doze off to his videos. Yeah. No, did you? Oh, okay, I, I thought you were talking about Jang Bricks. That's oh, who no, I've no. watched. Jang Bricks. I've binge watched his videos. It's just yeah, like, like we, if like you just go to sleep, you put these videos on. All he does is talk about the set. Yeah. There's nothing else, and it's just like, it's just like white noise, basically. To help you fall yeah. asleep, man. It's perfect. Yeah, those are the best videos. The ones like where people are just, I guess, like talking forever because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can easily tune them out and then fall asleep to it. But, yeah. Damn. I had one topic I wanted to talk about. Okay. Right? Who do you think would survive the longest in the zombie apocalypse out of the whole entire podcast group? From least to like most. Like longest survived, I guess. Who do you think would die first? Who do you think would live the longest? I think Ryan would live the longest. That's my take too. Ryan's got guns. Because I, I own a what? Because I own <laughs> firearms. So well, you also know shit about guns and shit too. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah. And you have like, don't you have like, um, I don't know if it's MREs, but you have like those instant meals for like when you're. Like, I have got some stuff like that. I've got or something. And like not purified water packets and stuff. Holy, what yeah. the? Fuck? I don't even have. Well, that it's not too. like that serious. It's just like a bag. Well, they they call it like a bug out bag. Mm-hmm. Or it's just a bag your... full of like survival stuff, and then uh, you just have it like sitting next to the door. So if you need to, you can just grab it and go. Yeah, isn't your dad like kind of a wilderness guy too? A little bit, like at least wilderness survival, maybe. Yeah, he, well, yeah, especially recently, he's been into that. Yeah. Um, like recently, he gave me like a ton of meals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but my my uncle, who uh, he passed away a while a long time ago, but he was into that type of stuff, and um. We had to go down, or my dad did, went down to California to get all this stuff, and he was in. He was really into that stuff. Like he was, he was pretty much a hoarder. <laughs> like he would always go to thrift stores and stuff, yeah. and and find stuff like that. Um, so he he had a ton of survival stuff. Like he had, he had like just boxes full of like MREs from like Vietnam like Damn. extremely old ones so we, we we actually ate a few of them it was so bad like they had packs of m&ms in them right but the right. colorful coating on the outside of the m&ms had fallen off because they oh, were so man. old <laughs> Damn. but uh, some of the meals in there were still actually not bad right really? yeah, he, he he was into that stuff too uh, i mean he had like he had like thousands upon thousands of rounds of ammunition too Oh, so uh, so we got all that. We got all those, which was nice. (laughs) But um, yeah. So so we we had we already had a bunch of that stuff from him, and then my dad also yeah does some of that stuff too. Mm -hmm. But uh, damn, I think it would be Ryan who survives the most, or maybe Min. I think Nathan is up there. Min's up there, just because of his like physical expertise in his taekwondo his you know, ruthless, God, ruthlessness uh, too <laughs> yeah his hot takes also keep the zombies away yeah. <laughs> like yeah i think nathan would be up there too um yeah i think he's just, I, a, he's just a he's a logical person you know i think yeah. he uh he's smart he's a smart dude he, he could definitely figure too. something else yeah yeah i or think, think definitely of me david or lars dies first <laughs> I, no, I think David dies first for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, David is that clumsy. Bless his heart, but he's dead. Like he, <laughs> he can't even run straight half the time. Like, <laughs> no well, well, him, but... what, if, what, if, what if the zombies think they're that he's one of them? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, oh my god, <laughs> he can yeah, blend he's just in incognito the entire time. Yeah, it's he's... like that one scene from like Shaun of the Dead or whatever. I don't remember that movie, but uh... yeah, yeah no, I just I... think. What's it called? It would be me or Lars, because like we're tall ass motherfuckers. So if we had to like squish through something or something like that, like yeah. maneuver around, it'd be harder. Yeah. And plus, we would stick out in a crowd of small zombies. Small <laughs> yeah. <All> zombies. <laughs> but what so you would you expect to like actually like f- like force your way? Uh, also, also, what what type of zombie apocalypse are we talking about here? Are we talking about? Walking like Dead, Cods, Walking Dead, COD zombies. Yeah. No, we're talking about World Dead War Z, zombies. where they like make entire fucking walls. <laughs> okay, there's no fucking zombie ladders. Okay, <laughs> this walking oh, so dead it's just, so it's just like 
So it's just so it's Walking Dead, isn't that? Don't they just don't all of them just walk around in the Walking yeah, pretty Dead? Pretty much. Yeah. That would just be like. But like, if you die too, you become a zombie. That's how it kind of works. No matter what. <laughs> yeah, no matter what, I think you just die and become that's a zombie. Because kind of, kind of it's like uh, it's airborne or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, hmm. honestly, think about now. Yeah, David would die for. <laughs> <laughs> he would definitely just trip on a rock and no one would go back for him. Uh, <laughs> he would, wow, that's how he dies. He trips on a rock and immediately he like becomes too injured to move and He's... nobody comes back for him. That's yeah, what you that's how you assume he dies. <laughs> man, I can't oh, wait man. for them to see this episode. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, 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 we're not even saying anything like uncalled for. Like no, David I, is yeah. Pretty, yeah. Pretty, yeah, I know. Like, I don't know. How do you guys think you would go out in the zombie apocalypse? I feel like I would just I, I feel like I wouldn't have like the, the like combat strength or whatever because I've never been in a fight or anything so might be kind of well, I feel like if I was swarmed by zombies I'd do what I could to like if like if I had, if I was like if I knew I was dead I'd just shoot myself because I wouldn't want to yeah. get like torn limb from limb by fucking zombies trying to That's eat me <laughs> But like, uh, I remember, yeah, I remember I was talking to uh, so one of my, uh, one of my, you'll know who I'm talking about, like my, my other group of two friends, basically. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of them was saying that if he, if he was in a zombie apocalypse, he would straight up just kill himself immediately. Damn. <laughs> he would just straight up shoot himself right off the bat. I was like, God, you wouldn't even try? You wouldn't even like attempt to do anything? <laughs> I would want to experience the zombie apocalypse first. And then if I knew I was fucked, I'd just like, you know, end it. But. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, it's not like glamorous. Like, it's not like something. Like, yeah, I can definitely see like where he's coming from. Just like, oh fuck yeah. Well, you wouldn't try it all. You'd just be like, oh man, fuck this. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't be like, oh boy, I wonder what it's like. Like, I'm not excited (laughs) about it at all. I remember when The Walking Dead was popular. Like that that. Like when The Walking Dead came out, and like just all all media was about zombies, right? All the game, there's a ton of games coming out about zombies and stuff, and mm-hmm. movies. Um, everybody, I remember there was a ton of people at school. They'd be like, "Man, I want a zombie apocalypse to happen. I think that'd be so much fun." Like, <laughs> no, you fucking moron! It wouldn't be fun. It would not it would be, be fun. terrible. You'd be like starving. Like you, <laughs> it would be terrible. Yeah. Like, and they'd be like, I'd go out in the woods and I'd survive and stuff. It's like, man, you probably have no experience doing any of that. So you <laughs> could just like die out in the woods. Just, like I do, and I wouldn't either. I would just have to stick in the city. Because I have no fucking experience doing like <laughs> bushcrafting or Like uh, how I think I would die in zombie apocalypse is probably like starvation or just like no survival skills, you know? Because I don't know fucking shit. If I'm out in the forest, I can't make a fire. It's over. Right? Wait, that's so, why you pick and choose your battles. Yeah, that's why I you think would, that's uh, how I would stick go to the out. cities, stick to the urban areas. Because otherwise, like, you're fucked in the in the forest and stuff. They would have the most zombies, though. Like, it'd be the most dangerous. Well, yeah, but I mean, then uh, there at least you could like scavenge for. Oops, I forgot to mute my phone. But uh, at least then you could like scavenge for food and stuff and. Yeah, you know, like because like I wouldn't know. I don't. I've never gone hunting before. I don't know how to hunt. I don't know how to like. You know, I would like to. You know, I mean, I I know very basic like skills, but I wouldn't know how to like survive out there. Well, out of everybody here, Lars is the one surviving. Just because weren't you a Boy Scout, Lars? You had to bring it up. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I was Boy Scout. Loser. I'm just saying Loser. he's got survival skin. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like really I don't think it translates that much. Like I think it just puts me a notch above you, Ron. <laughs> like honestly. <laughs> like barely. Like I think Ryan and Nathan and Min are still above me <laughs> in terms of survival skills. But yeah, I feel like Ryan's got the guns, Min's got the combat strength, and like Nathan's got wits, I guess. I guess. I guess. It's <laughs> uh, kind of fucking stupid, but whatever. And a big I booty guess. too. What, yeah, what yeah. would your guys' plans be if there was a zombie apocalypse? Go to an island. Okay. <laughs> Get but in the like, water. 
Okay. Because, like, unless, I don't know, the zombies are, like, fucking uh, swimming or some shit. The yeah. water's, like, the safest spot. Yeah, no, I would probably do the same, but, like, I'd go to, like, a city, I think, and then scavenge for, like, a day or two. But I was, like, as I was thinking about it just now, I'd probably, like, look for seeds or something so I can, like, grow food. That'd be good. Yeah. self just mean it'd be like Minecraft at that point. Exactly. <laughs> like, at <laughs> night, you hear the zombies would come at night and they'd kill them. Yeah. To make sure the area's lit, lit up. Start and shoot them in fire. Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, yeah, honestly, um, I'd probably just try and like I'd probably try and uh, maybe get together with some of my family. I could definitely try and get together with my dad at the very least. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so we have a, a combined uh, make it a combined effort. So I'm not just alone out there. That's true. Um, yeah, that would probably be it. And then I guess at that point, I'd probably just try and survive in the forest or something. Cause I, if I have like my dad, at least like he knows he knows what he's doing out there. So, yeah, you know, <laughs> we have a better chance there. It I, it would also depend. It would also depend on what. Cause I don't live in like a super dense area. Mm-hmm. Like it's relatively dense now, but it's not like it's not like you know a big city or anything. Yeah. So it, the the urban situation might be okay to stay here. Yeah. But who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I dropped the fucking wing it at that point. Honestly. <laughs> Just whatever <laughs> happened, <laughs> happened. Like, honestly, I feel like if anyone, like, there was an alert that said there's a zombie apocalypse going on right now, no one would fucking believe it, right? <laughs> Unless, like, no. you saw it in person. Everybody would be like, oh, dude, that's CGI. <laughs> there's no fucking way, right? Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't believe it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like, believe it. We'd be so fucked. Everybody would just not believe it. <laughs> yeah. Uh I saw one outside my door or something. It's like well, now at that point I think it's right. a crackhead. <laughs> I don't even think it's a zombie. Damn, oh. that guy is hella high. <laughs> <laughs> guy had a little too much ketamine. Fuck. All right. Well, I think that wraps up the episode for today. Thanks for coming to our point five Christmas special that didn't have anything to do with you know, Christmas. I think, I think it went better than that. I think I think I think it could be even be to episode seven. I think that went pretty well considering yeah, it's only yeah. three of us. Hey, maybe. Living all right. But yeah, that was a fun time. If you want to see more stuff like this, just let us know. But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna get out of here. Anyway, see you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>